So we have here a small collection of ceramics uh, which are indicative in, in one way or another of the maritime trade which was carried on throughout East Asia and Southeast Asia. A lot of people don't realize this, but the maritime trade in Asia, meaning from Japan, Korea, China, down through the South China Sea, was quite important. And we have very little evidence of that nowadays except in the form of shipwrecks and mostly ceramics. The wonderful thing about these shipwrecks is they're really time capsules. And once you can date the shipwreck, you have a much better idea of what types of wares were being produced and traded at that time. The first piece I'm gonna talk about here is, is really exciting because it, it helps to remind us that these pieces were actually uh, transported, not always, but transported uh, overseas uh, in, in boats, and sometimes these boats didn't actually make it. And so what we have here is a Junware piece, uh, one of the, uh, what many would consider a, a classic type, a, a certainly very beautiful type with this lovely, almost moonlight uh, blue glaze. But you can see, because of its time in the sea, as, as uh, part of the cargo from a shipwreck, it's totally encrusted in coral. With ceramics, what I tend to do is, is you want to get a, a good idea of what the range of quality is within each type of, of ceramics category. So for example, you might look at the form, how well is it potted, uh, the decoration, how well is it decorated, uh, what is the condition? Uh, is it terribly worn, is it repaired, is it cracked, is it chipped, is it stained? I think ultimately you have to look at these as works of art as well.